Hey guys, Steve here with Fitness Hub, and uh, I haven't done a vlog or an update in a long time. I haven't really been releasing a lot of photo, uh, videos recently, sorry, not photos. I've been releasing photos all the time. If you want to check out my Instagram, it's in the description box below. Anyway, um, I just want to give an update of where I'm at. Um, I'm sitting at about 187 pounds. Um, I've been gaining very slowly at maximum of one a pound a month, which is what I recommend for people who have been training for a while. Um, if you haven't been training for as long, two pounds a month. And uh, there you go. If you've been training longer, then maybe less than one pound a month. Uh, you might want to maintain your weight. Anyway, different subjects altogether. Um, I'm sitting on about 3,900 calories at the moment. Um, haven't gained weight in the last two weeks, so I was thinking to up it. Um, but for the time being, I won't be. A uh, big reason for that is my training. Uh, for the last couple of months, um, I've been under the wing of Greg Farris, who's been doing my training. Um, it's been high frequency daily undulating periodization, which means um, each day I go to the gym, I'm doing different rep ranges. Um, and the last month or so, I've been doing full body every day. Um, by full body, I don't mean every single muscle part. I do mean doing upper and lower um, in the session. So maybe I'll just do shoulders and or legs, um, I won't do shoulders, biceps, triceps, back, chest, although I will train back every session because I do think the ratio of back uh, pull to push should be two to one. Anyway, um, and that's been going great, uh, really good. Although, if you have been watching my videos, you do know I've been suffering from back pain um, for quite a long time now, and I've kind of just been pushing through it, um, thinking it will get better. Um, take this painkiller, it doesn't hurt too bad, put some deep heat on it, takes my mind off it, um, but recently it's been really, really bad. Um, I've been at work and having to take painkillers while at work throughout the day to try and get through the day. Um, it's at, Even the painkillers aren't enough to stop the pain, uh, it's got to a point where it's hard to concentrate, it's affecting my everyday life, um, it's, it is seriously quite bad. Uh, it, you, if you know me personally, you'd know that I'm extremely de determined and very stubborn and I will continue to do something that I enjoy and I want to do until it hurts me almost to a point that um, it has become very detrimental. Um, so I've, I'm taking the decision now to stop. Um, the last two days I've gone to the gym and just done machines. Uh, machine weights and anything uh, that would tweak my back, I stop. Um, I may have to completely stop going to the gym for a while. Um, certainly reduce my volume, uh, taking more rest. And that comes to a big point that I want to raise: is listen to your body. Um, your body is an amazing thing. I should know that. I've recovered from quite a major injury to my head. Uh, in the past, again some of you may know about that, if not it doesn't matter, but your body is amazing, it can recover from huge things, but it takes time, and also your body often tells you when something's up, if your diet is not right, you might have a digestive is issues, or you might gain weight too fast, you might lose weight too fast, that sort of thing, your body knows how to tell you if things aren't going right, uh, if you feel a tweak in an area, then your, it's your body's kind of way of saying, don't push yourself that hard, um, you need to cut back a little bit. And if you push through that, sometimes you can be lucky, sometimes you can just go on through, your body will adapt again, and uh, it'll you'll be able to rock on out and keep going to the gym, whatever you want to do. But if you're like, the injury I've had, then you need to take a break. And I'd always suggest, if you're thinking about going to the gym and you think you might be hurting yourself by going, just take a break. If you think taking a break might just help uh, reduce your pain, then take a break. If if you just have that slight thought that taking a break might help, just do it. Um, because taking a short break, say a week now, take me for example a week now, might save me um, and make me be able to train for years in the future. But if I don't take it now, uh, it could mean not being able to train 
and for me I want to be training for the rest of my life I love it it's a passion of mine it's what I want to be doing long term um, so it's, it's idiotic and kind of ignorant of me to keep, keep on training and so I am taking a break um, and diet wise I don't think I'm going to change it too heavily um, if I cut down my volume heavily then I, I will reduce my calories a little bit not dramatically just a little bit um, just because obviously I'm burning a lot at the moment from going to the gym six times a week um, and training wise obviously it'll just be machines and hopefully it will not take much longer than a week to heal um, the actual problem because I haven't described it yet is not in my lower back as many might have thought it is in my upper back in the thoracic spine, um, around between my shoulder blades, uh, T4 area. I haven't had it diagnosed. I have seen a, a fit sports physio who is also a, um, not chiropractor, uh, the other one, I've forgotten what it's called, but she, she was uh, not just a physio, she was also like an orthopedic, sorry. Um, and she couldn't really diagnose it. She didn't know what was wrong. Um, she said I had a stiff upper back and that's about all I got. I saw her twice. She did a lot of cracking on my back and things and it felt nice. But it never really solved the problem um, at all. And so I did, it cost a lot of money to see her. So I didn't really want to go down that route again. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to see a GP who will then probably refer me to a doctor and then hopefully I can see a specialist if it takes that far. Uh, hopefully I'm overreacting but I have a feeling I'm not because... Uh, the pain is get it's chronic now and it is bad just sitting here right now I can feel it it's achy uh, the sort of pains I'm feeling is not normally acute it's kind of a dull ache all the time um, and I get tingling and numbness in my upper back I don't get shooting pains down my legs or arms I've done a ridiculous amount of research online to try and diagnose myself uh, it's not really helping I've also been doing lots of mobility, uh, doing a cross ball all up and down on my scapula to uh, loosen it up and things has definitely helped. Uh, using my peanut, uh, which I can't find, but it's up here somewhere, um, which is basically two lacrosse balls. Uh, it's actually two tennis balls, sellotaped together, or you can put them in a sock. And I've just been rolling that up and down my spine and uh, trying to crack the back release some tension, I'm doing lots of thoracic extension, lots of stretching and it's helping but like I said I think my the thing I need to do and the thing I haven't done is really rest it. Um, so that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, it's a bit of a, a dip because everything had been going up. If you've seen my v recent videos I've been very positive about PRs and everything and even then the positive to take from this is I haven't been 100% uh, when I've been lifting, um, I've always been going into lifts thinking, is my back going to be able to survive this? And I push through it most of the time, but when I get back to 100%, you're going to see me firing all cylinders and I'm going to be coming at you. I'm going to be making PRs all over the place. And uh, I need to make these last few months of my off-season very, very productive. Uh, on my The final note I want to make is, if you've been wondering what I'm wearing on my head, this hat is by Physique. And uh, this is my friend's online clothing company, and uh, he's a great guy, and they have some great products. Um, if you're interested at all in anything, um, I'll put a description in the description below. I'll put a link to his website. Um, and if you are at all interested in making a large purchase or anything, um, you could send me a message, and I might be able to get you a discount or something along those lines um, because I do know him personally, and he's a great guy. And here, I'm sure he'd be happy to help some of you out. Um, thank you guys as always uh, keep watching I'm gonna keep putting out some videos and hopefully once I've recovered from this I can have a story and tell you how I overcame the pain in my back um, because it might well affect many of you in the future cheers guys